LNT announced numbers that were largely in, expect in line with street expectations yesterday, though guidance disappointed. Uh, what's going on as far as the capital goods space is concerned? Is the environment getting better? Sanjeev Zarbade from uh, Kotak now joins us on this conversation. Sanjeev, what did you make of these numbers and what is your own sense uh, of how the capital goods space is playing out? Uh, you saw the guidance cut come from uh, LNT and their own commentary doesn't seem to inspire too much confidence, does it? Yeah, uh, thank you. Um, so uh, we are looking at the LNT numbers as a more of a mixed bag. So while the revenue growth was in line with our expectations, uh, the margins that they announced at the EBITDA level clearly surprised us. Uh, they were uh, good 100, uh, uh, 100, 100, 200 basis points uh, more than our expectations. At the profit after tax levels, the numbers came ahead of our estimates. So the numbers on an overall basis were, were good at the P&L level, but at the balance sheet level, we are seeing uh, uh, stress on the balance sheet in the sense that uh, uh, the uh, cash flow uh, from operations has not been quite there. And so we are seeing that uh, the borrowings have also increased consistently on a quarterly basis. So if you look at the, uh, the, if you look at the sector as a whole, Sanjeev, if you look at the sector so as a whole, a would you say that there is confidence that volume growth is going to come back post-elections? Are you anticipating top-line growth of these companies to get a little more better, stall projects to come, on, come back on track? See, uh, uh, we have seen a bit of a rally in the last uh, two to three months in the capital goods sector. Now, uh, this rally is being driven by two factors. One is that uh, hope that uh, uh, new regime comes and uh, the sentiment uh, so far as fresh investment uh, in the industrial sector improves. So that is one reason why the uh, capital goods sector did well. The second reason was that, okay, okay the, the, for the sector, the worst is over. From here on, things should get better. So these are the two factors. On the ground situation, uh, we, we have been speaking to the management and uh, the situation is not very uh, good in the sense that uh, uh, very few greenfield projects are being announced and although the government has uh, done its part so far as uh, uh, the policy related uh, uh, push that it needs to provide in the last two years, but it needs to translate into, uh, into fresh investment and that is not happening at the moment. Uh, having said that, uh, it all depends upon uh, uh, the, the GDP growth going ahead. If the outlook improves, then certainly uh, manufacturers would have to go for capacity additions and that would kickstart the next CAPEX cycle. But at the moment, uh, things are basically uh, based on hope. There is not much of uh, uh, concrete action on the ground.